Hey everyone, this video isn't going to be as long as some of my other grow light videos, um, but that's mainly because not a ton of stuff has happened. And also I waited a month this time instead of three weeks, but I wanna go through real, uh, really quick and show you kind of what's been going on. And you know, I've got the Mars Hydro Light, the Fight Electric, and then I've got the Commercial Electric. So we're just gonna go through them real fast and I wanna show you kind of some updates. So. We've got the Hearts Delight, and I don't know if you can tell, but it's stretched out. So these should be flat, and it's still reaching for light. Now, a few weeks ago, I noticed these guys were stretching out, and I put them on little blocks. I don't know if you can tell, but they are still stretching. So that's the Raindrops, the Pearl von Nuremberg, the uh, Malaco, and then everything else is fine. Uh, the Purpose Arm is okay. Kiwi looks okay. That's pretty thirsty, but I've pretty much been neglecting them. And then this was the Luella that I damaged. You remember how bad I damaged it? But look, the new growth looks great. And the damage is starting to get all the way to the bottom, which is really good. Now, down here, you guys already know, I basically, well, I thought I killed this raindrops. And I keep thinking that maybe these leaves are just going to fall off. Sorry about the focus, you guys. But I think it's still alive and I don't think there's rot. So maybe I just watered it a little too much or maybe this, since it's not very hot, these lights compared to the other ones, it the, the soil held water a little bit longer. The Hearts Delight, as you can see, is also stretching. So I really need to put that on something. They should be pretty flat and it is flatter than that other one. I mean, that other one is just crazy. It looks like a, like a bunch of clouds or something. And this one kind of does too, but it's stretching. But the rest of these guys look good. So not getting too much stretching from the PBN, although maybe a little bit. The Kiwi's okay. It looks probably the a brighter, brighter than the one up there down here. And then Luella looks good. I really need to pull off those dead leaves. And Purposorum looks good. And then our Agavoides looks really good. That one's not even thirsty. Anyway, finally down here, y'all know these guys didn't have many leaves to begin with but this is the only one that didn't stretch out a bunch and if you'll notice I actually did put it on some folded up cardboard um, but I had a feeling it was going to stretch so I did that. I can also see that PVN stretching a little bit and the raindrops is not really stretching a lot and it seems to be holding more water than the other ones because it's got more bumps but everything else looks good and really, I wish you could see the colors better, but the kiwi really pops in this one. And same thing with the agavoides, you can see all this kind of red, um, red highlights on the outside. But if you look at the ones in some of the other lights, they don't really have that as much. So I think this light down here kind of brings some of that out, but the Luella looks really, really pretty. And then finally the Purposorum. So anyway, if I had to rate all of these lights, based on a month ago until now. I would say our winner is probably the General Electric. And that's because I didn't get much stretching. Nothing got over water. And I think that's because there is a little bit of heat generated with that one versus the Fight Electric. And I think the colors look really, really good. But I think all these are good lights. I think you need to be more careful with watering with this one. And this one, you know, when I originally started the experiment, if you remember, everything got burnt and I had this on fully bright. You can dim it, this is fully bright and I had to put it all the way dim. Now it may be too dim, but I'm scared to burn them. So we're kind of playing trial and error as to how close they need to be to the light. But thank you guys for watching. I hope this is helping some of you guys decide what lights you might want to try indoors. But if you want more information on any of these lights that I'm using, I'm going to put it in the description. So there's the General Electric on the bottom and the Fight Electric is the middle one. And then the top is the Mars Hydro. Thank you guys for watching again. And I hope you will like my video and subscribe and stay tuned for all the new stuff. Bye bye.